The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Now, beginning up here, example, correcting far-sightedness. Let's begin by reading our problem. For a hyperopic eye, if the near point is 100 centimeters, what is the focal length and power of the contact lens that will allow the eye to clearly see an object located at a distance of 25 centimeters? I encourage you to pause the video and, and try to solve this problem independently, otherwise you're more than welcome to follow along. We'll first go ahead and find the focal length and then we'll find the power. And to really understand what's going on, let's begin by taking a look at a schematic here of the problem. Now, in figure 29a here, we see that we have an object at a distance of 25 centimeters that we want to see clearly. Currently, this distance in the hyperopic eye, we know that the image is blurry as it focuses behind the retina. Now, if we come down here, the problem also tells us that the near point, that being the shortest distance of the object to the eye for which the image can be clearly brought to focus on the retina is 100 centimeters. Additionally, recall the contact lens that's going to be needed for our farsightedness is a converging lens. Furthermore, we'll consider the contact lens to have a negligible thickness and to be positioned at the surface of the cornea. Moreover, it's only for uh, clarity purposes that we have uh, that there exists this separation between the converging lens and, um, and the eye. Now, the converging lens will form an upright virtual image at the near point of the hyperopic eye. In turn, the virtual image then acts as the object for the eye itself. Note, the object's distance is positive but the image distance is negative. Recall earlier in table six, we stated that the image distance is negative when the image is virtual and on the same side of the lens as the object. Sign conventions were covered earlier in this lecture. Now, getting back, since we know the object and image distance, we can now go ahead and use the lens equation to find the focal length that's required by the contact lens to see an object located 25 centimeters uh, away. Let's just quickly remind ourselves of the lens equation and the alternative solution for focal length. And recall, this equation was introduced earlier in the uh, lecture series when we discussed alternative solutions to the lens equation. Next, if we just come down here, let's go ahead and fill in our values. That being negative 100 centimeters for the image distance and 25 centimeters for the object distance. And upon solving, we find that a focal length of 33 centimeters is going to be is going to be required in order for uh, our eye to uh, clearly see an object located 25 centimeters away. And upon solving, we find that a focal length of 33 centimeters is required by the contact lens to allow the eye to clearly see an object located 25 centimeters away. Next, let's go ahead and find the refractive power of the contact lens using the equation we introduced on the previous slide. Now, if we just go ahead and we fill in our value, note that the focal length is now in meters and no longer in centimeters. And upon solving, we find that the refractive power is going to be three diopters. Now, in this example, we are working with contact lenses. However, if we were working with eyeglasses, our refractive power would be different to some extent as we would have to account for the distance between the lens and the uh, eye itself. Let's do an example with eyeglasses on the next slide. If we take a look here, example correcting nearsightedness. An optometrist finds a patient's far